We are not amused. forces conquered the German capital of Berlin. Now, with Hitler in exile, the Soviet's puppet regime rules from the Kronper. With the Soviet focus on the West, Japan has been free to continue their aggressive expansion, threatening our allies in the region. On the home front, men and women are working around the clock, producing guns, tanks, and supplies to aid the remaining free nations of Europe while building our own forces to counter the ever-rising threat of war. Should the communists dominate Europe and Africa and the Japanese in Asia and the Pacific, then the claws of tyranny will soon grasp for the light of American democracy. Our attempts to avoid war have proven futile. As the enemy continues to enslave the nations of the world, capturing more natural resources critical to the advancement of mankind, we must take action. The time for conflict is upon us. How long can the U.S. hope to avoid the cost of war on its shores? Noble men and women, 80 years ago we cast off our Danish oppressors and soon fought alongside our allies in London to seize the Baltic from unfit tyrants. But now we stand again on the eve of war. As we speak, in Swedish North America, an army hardened in war moves north. Fleets embark from our colonies in Swedish Cuba to seize the rich islands of the Caribbean while ships in Swedish Africa head south to secure the trade routes to India. Our other allies in Castile and Austria reassure us that they will honor our alliance. London has foolishly focused on their petty squabbles with Paris for generations. But what thought have they given them? Or steps have they taken to protect themselves from their growing allies in Stockholm? <laughs> Not enough, I say. When storytellers and poets write of tomorrow, it will be of the day that England, nay, the world, was rocked by the great and mighty empire of Sweden.
Do you dream of the stars? The vast unknowns waiting to be discovered. This is no single mission, but a call to the cosmos, to a galaxy in constant motion. There are always more stars to discover, more civilizations to encounter. to explore. It's a vast galaxy full of wonders. Political tension, diplomacy, betrayal, and deceit. And it is yours for the taking. What a fool. Blinded by his desire for revenge, my husband threw himself at the mighty walls of our enemies. Through marriage, power, and influence, revenge will be Real strategy requires cunning. Fellow Tropicans, thanks to me, Tropico is an undisputed paradise. I will bring diversity, culture, and the wonders of the world to Tropico! New means of transportation will offer great opportunities of exchange to you and our visitors. I will make Tropico even greater and even better. Vote for El Presidente!